When you create an intersection in wireframe, you're basically creating geometry that's intersecting points, curves, faces, planes, surfaces, and solid bodies. And we'll go ahead and do a quick example on how to do that. Now you should first be in generative shape design application. Now the intersection command is located under the wireframe section. And if you go down to the action bar, you see that it's right here. And it's a standalone command. It's not within another pop-up menu. So let's go ahead and select on that. You're going to get a tools palette, but for this example, we're not going to go ahead and bother with that. We're going to go ahead and deal with the intersection definition dialog box. Now the first thing it's going to ask for is a first element. And that can be either of two things. The surface that you want to basically intersect, or it could be the curve, line, or plane that you want to intersect with. For this, we're going to go ahead and select this plane here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to use this plane to intersect right around this tube surface. And we're going to create a line there. Now next we have the option of turning on or activating the Extend Linear Supports for Intersection. Now this is for both the first and second element selection. This basically allows you to extrapolate an intersection of either element when intersecting lines. Or in other words, it defines intersections that are going to be more precise. So let's go ahead and select on those. And now for our second element, we're going to, to select the surface. Now next we're going to go ahead and select preview to see what we get. And notice that we get an intersection with a circular curve going around the, the tubular surface. When you're happy with that, go ahead and select OK. And there you have it. And if we look over to the specification tree, you see that we have our intersect here. And if we want to go ahead and edit it, we can either double click on it with our left mouse button or we can right click, go down to intersect, object, select definition. Now I recommend to go down through the procedures below and look at the other information also regarding the intersection definition dialog box.